Hey guys, it's your girl Beauty's Advocate here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today, you guys. So y'all know I have been reviewing Babyless products forever and they're my favorite. Like I love them. Um, there are some that are staples, like I use them all the time in my routine and then some, maybe I didn't like them so much, but I still tried them out. And I'm super excited because Babyless reached out to me and sent me a couple of their products from one of their new lines for free. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know that I have been like spending my own money buying all of these products um, to review for you guys because sometimes I feel like there's not a space where you have one person that tests out multiple things and you can really know what works for you. So I am super excited to go over what they sent me today um, and give you guys a review. Today, I'm going to review the blow dryer only that they sent me. The next video, I will review the flat irons, but today we'll stick to the blow dryer. I'll show you both things that they sent me though. Um, both of these are from their Studio Design series. They sent me the sensor dryer, which we'll review today, and the Root Reacher flat iron, which we will review next week. So without further ado, we can jump right into this and I will tell you guys everything about it. Okay, so right off the bat, I think some of you guys are going to be really excited about this blow dryer. I've gotten comments on previous videos where I've reviewed blow dryers and you guys are like, does it come with a comb attachment? Does it not come with a comb attachment? I can't really tell. And this is the first one that I'm reviewing that actually comes with a comb attachment, which I think will be super, super user friendly for some of you guys. So just to go over the attachments that it does come with really quickly, we have the comb attachment, which is on here. We have a diffuser for the curly hair girls, which you normally don't get these with any of the other blow dryers, um, and a concentrator nozzle, which you do get with the other blow dryers. So I think that that is very, very important to note. Um, although this is called the Studio Design Series, I could definitely see this being geared towards consumers, especially people who may not be able to use a paddle brush when they blow dry or a round brush or anything else and you really need that comb attachment, you have it here. And I will say that I did decide to go and like read some reviews on these um, attachments. Some people said that they fell off while they were using them. I've used the concentrator nozzle and the comb and they did not budge at all. Like I wanna show you guys for a second. Like, you gotta use a good amount of force. So if your attachment is coming off while you are blow drying, it is probably, sorry to say it, user error. Um, you have to make sure your hair is detangled before you use any attachment. If you are using the comb to actively detangle your hair and you didn't get out the knots prior to you blow drying, you're just gonna cause damage to your hair. So regardless, make sure you detangle your hair first before you use comb attachment, but this does come with one for my ladies that need one. Okay, and then this feature about the blow dryer was a little bizarre to me. I thought it was so interesting. When you set this thing on a table, like flat, there, there are little buttons on each side, it turns off. I thought that was like one of the coolest things ever. It was a little weird getting used to because I'm so, it's like muscle memory to turn off the blow dryer before I sit it down. But once I got used to it, I was just kind of like sitting this thing on the table and it was turning off. And I was like, this is actually really nice to not have the loud noise going constantly or not have to remember to turn it off before I set it on the table. It's really nice. I think that if you are a pro, you're probably going to love that feature of this blow dryer because you don't have to worry about, you know, sitting it down when you go to move on to another section and turning it off first. And it's just a much quicker and easier process. If you have it on the highest heat setting, you can keep it there and literally just set it on the table. Like, I think that's a great design, <laughs> kind of personally. Okay, so this blow dryer is priced at $160 in the US. You can grab it at Ulta Beauty or on Babyless's website. I have all the links in my description box below, but I think that that is a fair price for the technology that you're getting in this blow dryer. Another thing um, that I think is that you really are getting the bang for your buck because they're including all of the attachments. None of the other blow dryers come with attachments other than concentrator nozzles when I bought Okay, so I'm just gonna read off some of the specs off of the box from 
this blow dryer. Um, number one, it is 1,875 watts, which I think is pretty decent. It um, also has a brushless motor, and that basically just means that there's less friction going on inside of the motor. So you get more efficient airflow, it's not going to be as loud, it should be a little quieter, um, and it should help blow dry your hair a little faster. Inside of this blow dryer, they have what they call carbon ionic technology. Basically, less frizz, more shine. That's what to know about that. It really helps seal that cuticle later, which I did notice while blow drying. Like all of the other blow dryers I've tried, it is a true negative ion generator, which kind of goes back to that technology. So you know that you know, you're getting the smoothest, silkiest results there as well. It does have a nine foot um, cord. This one is very interesting to me. I was not expecting a fabric cord, but this one has a fabric cord. I haven't had any issues with it. I really don't know the difference um, between the two, but the cord is fabric, but it's nine feet. So if you have, you know, kind of like a long length from the plug in the wall to where you actually do your hair, you should be just fine um, with nine feet. Okay, so something really interesting, as far as the heat settings go, you pretty much just have like low and high. Um, there isn't like a medium um, section. There is not a cold shot button. I know you see a button here. This is the sensor button so that you can turn these sensors on or off just in case you don't want it to shut off. Um, and as far as speed settings, there's off one or two. So if you are a girl where you're like, oh, well, I need a medium heat setting, I can tell you with this one, you probably don't. Um, it doesn't get extremely hot. It, I mean, it gets hot, it's a blow dryer, but it's not going to burn your hair. Um, this one is pretty moderate, I would say, because the airflow is so efficient, you don't need as much heat. Um, so this one does a good job of blow drying without you know, dispersing a crazy amount of heat. Okay, now let's talk about the use of this blow dryer. I um, I enjoy using it, but it was kind of interesting to get used to at first. And the reason why I say that is look at how long this piece is when you have the comb attachment on. I normally am not a comb attachment girl. Normally, I'm going to grab a diffuser, pop it on there, and like this is all I have to deal with. But even with that being said, it's still on the longer side. So once you get to the comb attachment and you actually add, whoop, <laughs> when you get to the comb attachment and you actually add that piece on, it's just extra long. So you're gonna find that you may have to bring it out a little further. Now, if you always use comb attachments, um, unless you have something like the Dyson, which is very short, you should be used to this. I personally wasn't, but I found it very comfortable when I started holding it like this. Girl, this is like so lightweight. I actually prefer to hold it here instead of here, but that's just me. Um, but with that being said, you do have multiple options on where to hold it. The only place that you can't hold it is here. I've seen people hold blow dryers like this as well. You cannot hold it here while the sensor is on. You're gonna have to turn off that sensor button if you wanna hold it here because even the lightest bit of pressure is going to turn that off. And that is something that I noticed while blow drying. There was a couple of times where I was like, you know, kind of come through blow drying and maybe I like accidentally bumped my head somewhere, hit it on something, it's gonna turn off. <laughs> I mean, it's the sensor blow dryer. So um, that is something to be cognizant of. Now, it turns literally right back on so it didn't really interrupt my flow of working or anything like that, but that is something to note just in case. Now, as far as efficiency, what I would say is that this did take a little longer to blow dry my hair um, with than my Babyless Pro Rapido, and I think that is for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm not used to this blow dryer. I've been using the Rapido now for, gosh, maybe three or four years. I know that blow dryer like the back of my hand. It's so easy for me to use it. Number two, I don't normally use comb attachments and that is for a particular reason because what I tend to like to do is to, you know, use some tension to stretch my hair and then focus on different parts of the roots. Okay, now let's talk about who I think this blow dryer is made for. Number one, I think this is made for professionals that need one blow dryer that they can use multiple attachments on to do multiple types of hair. If you bought any of the other Babyless blow dryers that I've reviewed on my channel, 
channel, you have to buy separate attachments for all of those things, which adds up. For example, the Babyless Pro Rapido, I believe at this point is retailing somewhere between like $190 and $200. To get the diffuser attachment to go with that, it's an extra 20 bucks the last time I checked. And then to get a comb attachment, you're gonna have to like go somewhere else and find one because the last I checked, they did make one for that. So I think that this is very important if you do need all three. Other person that I think this is made for is just a normal consumer. Um, if you need a comb attachment to do your hair, your daughter's hair, whoever's hair, your son's hair, doesn't matter. This obviously is gonna come with one and you know that you're getting a blow dryer from a quality company that works very well, um, that has sensor technology. I think it's pretty cool. I love the tech that they did put into this one. Um, it reminds me of all the other blow dryers that they sell just with a couple more bells and whistles. So I would say that anyone who is looking for a complete package from a blow dryer should definitely look into this. Nowadays, it's really hard finding a blow dryer that does come with everything. And this one literally comes with everything. So if you're in need of a new blow dryer and you're looking for all of the different attachments, this is the one that I would suggest. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier in this video, next week I will be reviewing the Root Reacher flat iron. So please don't forget to come back and watch that one. Thank you all so much. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and drop me a comment if you tried this or want to. Have a great day. Bye.